It must be borne in mind that the tragedy of life does not lie in not reaching your goals. No. The tragedy lies in not having a goal to reach for. Do you want to live an inspired life? Do you want to live an incredible life? Do you want to do more, be more, and achieve more? Do you want to make your existence here on this planet make a difference? If you do, I want to welcome you. I'm Dr. Willie Jolly, and I help people around the world to live better and achieve more. I am the author of a number of best-selling books. It only takes a minute to change your life. A setback is a setup for a comeback. Turn setbacks into greenbacks and an attitude of excellence. I'm also an international motivational and inspirational speaker and singer who has been inducted into the Speakers Hall of Fame and named one of the outstanding five speakers in the world by the 175,000 members of Toastmasters International. I'm honored to be in a group that includes Colin Powell, Norman Schwarzkopf, Nelson Mandela, Margaret Thatcher, Christopher Reeve. And I'm honored that only 50 people in the world have been given that designation and I'm one of the 50. I don't tell you this to impress you, but to impress upon you that it really is possible to live your dreams. Let me tell you a story about one of my clients, a little car company that you may have heard of called Ford Motor Company. In 2006, Ford was struggling. They were on the verge of bankruptcy. In order to stay alive, Ford needed 25,000 employees to accept a buyout, but very few people were accepting the buyout. Many of these employees had been working for Ford for many years, and their parents had worked for Ford, and their grandparents. It was not going to be an easy feat. After reading my book, A Setback is a Setup for a Comeback, a Ford executive was inspired by my message, and they hired me to motivate their employees and move them to action. I embarked on a speaking tour to their factories and offices with a goal of converting 25,000 employees to take the buyout. By the end of my tour, 38,000 employees had accepted the buyout. In 2009, Ford was the only one of the big three automakers to reject a government bailout. And they've gone on to make billion dollar quarters ever since. How did we accomplish that? Did I talk to Ford's people about the money? No. Did I talk to them about the company was struggling? No. I inspired them and excited them and I talked to them about turning setbacks into comebacks, about opportunities, and about living their dreams. Do you have a dream? What are you doing to live your dreams? It's possible to live your dreams. I know. I've spoken to Fortune 500 companies. I've written best-selling books. I have my own shows on radio and Sirius XM and television. I want to ask you, do you think you can turn your setbacks into comebacks? Well, let me tell you. The answer is yes. If you don't think so, I believe you can. Dream with your eyes open. Swing for the fences. Decide to win. I want to help develop your company's leadership. I want to help your team to have an attitude of excellence. I want to help you and your team to do more, be more, and achieve more, and to transform your thinking so you can transform your future. I want you to live bigger, better, greater, grander lives and achieve more each and every day. He got us in a great dreamy mode this morning to realize the greatness inside all of us. I had to resist the urge to run up and hug him. The only reason why I turned to Channel 9 News is because I know Willie Jolly is about to come over. Super inspiring, not at all what I expected, much more than I thought it would be. Rave review from everybody, I've been hearing nothing but exceptional, extraordinary comments. I love to invigorate your next event, your next meeting, your next program. Please visit my website at williejolly.com for scheduling and information. Have a great day. And as I tell my Sirius XM audience at the end of every show, for sure, for sure, for sure, remember, your best is yet to come.